Hey and welcome back to Mod Investor. So as you know, we're covering mod news every week and every week I'm telling you what exactly happened in cryptocurrency over the last seven days. So thanks to you can catch up, especially if you're not following it, you can just see what exactly happens. And sometimes I also choose articles which I really think they bring some cool value. So let's get into it. The first one is El Salvador has started mining Bitcoin with volcanoes. El Salvador has officially started using volcanoes to mine Bitcoin. And according to its president, Naib Bukele, so far it has mined 0.0015 MBTC, which is worth around $260. They're saying they're still testing and installing, but this is the officially the first Bitcoin mining from the Volcano node. They tweeted, they, they tweeted on their Twitter. And to be honest, the Bitcoin is being mined using a geothermal energy generated by volcanoes in the region and country heavily relies on geothermal energy and is one of the top producers of it in the world. This comes after Bukele tweeted a video on September 28th which showed mining rigs being delivered and set up in a facility in El Salvador. In the video, you could see an ASIC miners being installed and plugged in. Last month, El Salvador became the first country to make Bitcoin legal tender. It has also created the Chivo wallet for citizens to access that Bitcoin network and make payments. Also, they gave out $30. So we'll see how they will progress looking, they're looking into geothermal energy for that Bitcoins. And following the El Salvador, they introduced fuel subsidy of 20 cents per gallon to locals who pay in BTC. So uh, people who are using the blockchain, people who are using the Bitcoin, they can actually expect discounts. And they're looking to bolster adoption of its government issue Chivo Bitcoin by offering discounts on petrol purchases, per, which is 20 cents per gallon at this moment, to consumers who buy uh, using BTC. And this is obviously to uh, incorporate even more customers into using that Bitcoin. And as a I can bet there'll be more options like that in the future for El Salvadorians to implement that cryptocurrency even more. And other news, the glitch on DeFi platform mistakenly gives out users 90 million dollars and the founder is pleading for money to be returned. So what exactly happened? The centralized finance protocol Compounds has been hit with a glitch that resulted its users getting 90 million uh, in the uh, coin and the native token comp uh, actually have been distributed and right now you can see um, on twitter that they're posting if you have received a large incorrect amount of comp from the compound protocol error please return it to the compound time lock so the bug was seemingly introduced after Compound released a regular update on Wednesday, but it wasn't long before some us users noticed they had received money that they otherwise did not own. And the new comp controller contract contains a bug causing some users to receive far too much comp. And um, I understand it's, it's a bug which might happen, but right now they actually need to ask the users to give it back. So we'll see how the situation will progress over the next few weeks. Let's move to some news about gaming. Axie Infinity is launching the centralized exchange. Axie Infinity, one of the most popular blockchain gaming startups, is bridging the nascent gaming world with the market of DeFi, with the launch of their new decentralized exchange. And the new product announced exclusively on the Scoop podcast will facilitate the trading of tokens used within its ecosystem. So Axie Infinity, launched by SkyMaven, allows users to buy, sell, and breed creatures called Axies. And the, while the project has its user base grow from some 30,000 active users in April to around 1.7 million in August, interest has won in the recent weeks. Weekly volume declined from uh, 220 million from peak to around 130 million. And to be honest, we see also a big jump in Axie Infinity price, soaring 1,900% in three months. And as Axie Infinity, a plain to earn blockchain based video game created by a Singapore based development studio SkyMavis, continues to see growing popularity, its native token AXS keeps setting new highs. On October 4th, the price of Axie Infinity shard, which is AXS, governance token soared 36% to hit yet another lifetime um, at the H, which is at the high. And 
we see that a peak of $153 and breaking into the list of top 20 biggest cryptocurrencies. It is now up to 130% over the last two months. So we'll see how it grows within the next few months as we see that the um, tokenomics connected with the gaming industry and play to earn options are actually getting even more implementation. So it's even more games um, kind of being right now developed. But continue on gaming. Super Mario Bros on blockchain and with crypto. So the dreams can come true. And Nintendo is a company who, you know, that stood with the origins, not only the video gaming industry, but actually the traditional gaming one as well. They started producing gaming cards in 1889 and obtained worldwide popularity after the release of Famicom, also known as the Nintendo Entertainment System out of, outside of the Japan. And to be honest, this giant is actually looking into crypto um, cryptocurrency and actually implementing that within their um, technology. This is a great news because um, the, as old company as Nintendo is someone who kind of changed their model through so, so many devices. And um, I think it's something great which is currently happening in the market. Going to another news, Algorand launches virtual machine to increase smart contract capabilities and the upgrade promises to deliver negative carbon outputs across the platform. So blockchain platform Algorand has announced that the launch of their Algorand virtual machine or AVM, or, uh, Algorand virtual machine, a layer one protocol upgrade designed to enhance the centralized app scalability for developers and organizations and they will enable instant transaction finality and sustain a negative carbon output. This is a really good news for Algorand. We'll see how it will progress over the next few months to come. But looking at crypto and mining, we see that Alibaba bans sales of crypto mining equipment. And we see that the popular e-commerce platform Alibaba announced the ban in the wake of the new crypto and mining, and mining bans in China. And one of the largest e-commerce platform which is Alibaba, has now announced it will cease selling cryptocurrencies, mining machines overseas starting in October. So we'll see how it will go within the next few months with the you know, lack of sales and actually the big ban following what is currently happening in China. Bit of news from Cardano. Cardano teams up with esports firm Rival. So in the recent event, Cardano has made some waves once again with big announcements and a unique one particular of esports that will shake up the fast growing NFT sports world. This year's Cardano Summit recently wrapped up showing promising hope for Cardano and ADA as they head into the fourth quarter. So September's Cardano Summit was filled with a lot of exciting news. If you watched it, you probably saw, you know, a smart contract, NFT projects, plans for the months to come. But they are also looking into the gaming and esports. So and the team at Cardano spoke on how they will develop agnostic NFT marketplaces, fund rewards, and many other things to assist both rival and their partners. So the full list of strategic partnerships, you can actually find their, their Summit Foundation page. But as you can see, there is a lot of things happening. And to be honest, looking at um, this is all following the smart contracts uh, upgrade and the recent summits, I wonder how the price will look like in three months to come. And the last news, something a bit of a funny, I would say, but in a way it can actually beat some of the traders. So this hamster can trade cryptocurrency and it's outpacing Bitcoin. So anyone who has experience with crypto trading knows that it's a risky investment. Every decision trade made could either benefit you or cost you a lot of cash, right? And who cares about all that when a hamster named Mr. Gox, it might be better than you. So yeah, you're reading it right. There is actually a hamster called Mr. Gox, which has been trading cryptocurrencies since June 2021 and doing quite well for himself. And when I read that the first time, I was like, what the is happening here? And actually, when you look at the, its performance, it's pretty great. But then I was looking, how is the decision making done? So Gox Box has the trading office. So it has an intention wheel 
and then it has a decision tunnel for buy and decision tunnel for sell. So actually, uh, the person who created the Mr. Gox YouTube channel has showed us the decision making. So there's an intention wheel as we can see, and it's choosing the uh, coin which is you know planning to buy or sell, and then it goes through the um, buy or sell tunnels to actually place those bits. And to be honest, it's actually doing pretty well. It's a 20% up from what I saw. Um, on the performance of the last three months. So I think that's a pretty great decision making based on a hamster. But also, as you can see, I think it's a great metaphor as well, how the crypto market is performing. And you need to always take a, you know, um, kind of consideration. There is always a risk when, which comes with it. Uh, I hope that this hamster also knows all the risks and how does it work that he can actually use, lose his whole capital or make shit lots of money. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, if yes, just remember what to do. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So thanks that you're up to date with everything which is going on. And so, well, I hope to see you soon in the next videos. Take care.